check it out. Listen, check it out now. Chilling details. Now let me tell you this. I just got in my email inbox a warrant for Diedrich Williams, his arrest. Now he's already arrested, so that's not the news. However, the details of the arrest warrant kind of spells out why he's being arrested and also kind of show how much cops know. Basically, cops know the whole jig at this point, right? Now, I'll spell it out to you guys because it's a very long document, but one thing that they're connecting to Diedrich Williams is yellow, bright yellow or orange, whatever color. It's very bright sandals, okay? They're saying he was wearing that in the store where X was at at first. X came in. They were there. They kind of seen him, and then he left. By the way, they have more surveillance footage, and there's surveillance footage of everything. They got surveillance footage of essentially Dedrick Williams and other guys going to buy masks, okay? Now, they're not even saying that he's a shooter, but they're saying that he's probably one of the guys who was in the vehicle that blocked X's vehicle, and that's when X couldn't get out, and of course, they tried to rob him, okay? Now, again, and this is the uh, horrifying part. When you hear that niggas got gloves they got masks and other things and, of course, weapons. You have to imagine that if you got gloves and masks, you are down to do a murder, okay? Even if it's a robbery, you're down to do a murder. So when they tried to rob X and X resisted, okay, there was a struggle that happened when they tried to get, like, the bag with money. Basically, they then shot X a couple of times, all right? Now, X fought to his death. Because they didn't get the bag that they were coming for, this alleged Louis V bag, until after they shot him and his body was lifeless. So they then went in the car afterwards to get it. And interestingly enough, uh, the whole thing is caught on videotape. They're saying that basically two masked gunmen hopped out of a vehicle from the passenger side, uh, the rear doors, and they were armed with firearms. So it was multiple guns. They're saying that they approached the driver's side of the vehicle. Then reached into the vehicle after a brief struggle. The victim, which is X, is shot. Okay, they're saying those gunshots were the cause of death. And that's what the medical examiner is saying. That's what's why X died. However, they're saying surveillance shows that the subjects had on white tank top, orange sandal, and they're the one who made the purchase. Okay, the purchase and business receipts. So they went to the store that the purchase was made that they bought a black neoprene mask, okay? They have the store employee's name. I won't put that out there. But that employee conducted the sale of the, the, the mask, and the guy was wearing a white tank top, and the white tank top was seen in the same video when they hopped out to shoot and rob X, okay? And they're saying that the person who bought the mask was a repeat customer. They came by that store frequently, and the store clerk knew that customer, Okay? Now, police did use Instagram. They went to Instagram account, and they found proof that homie has those same kind of colored sandals, okay? And they went to, I won't put his Instagram page out there now. So Instagram could get niggas locked up if you don't know, okay? Now, again, they asked the store employee to identify the person who bought the mask, and the person pointed out the same guy who's in custody, and that's how they pretty much got the warrant, okay? Now, there was another employee who said they saw this, the, 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 the suspect with the white tank top inside the business and said that they could identify that person as someone who bought the mask as well, okay? Now, they're saying that basically this guy was not one of the people who hopped out the goddamn vehicle, but he was inside the vehicle that blocked X's escape, and they're looking for the other two shooters. They might have them in custody, but they're not making this known yet. Again, this is unfortunate, from what it seems by these details, X was going out to buy a vehicle, okay, a motorcycle actually. Who knows if he said anything, but it was apparent that people knew he was going to have a large lump sum of cash. Because when he went to the bank and when he went back to the place, people were there waiting on him to leave that when he left, they could rob him. And when they robbed him or tried to rob him by closing him into a closed little compound, he basically struggled with two gunmen who had masks on and they shot him to his death. They took the bag and then they dipped. And that is the story, it seems thus far, of how X was murdered. Very sad. Again, who knows if he just gave up the bag if he wouldn't get shot. Again, that's not even his nature, though. I got to be honest with y'all. But who knows if they were there to get the bag and kill him. 
But according to what we're hearing right now from this warrant, very sad situation, and he did put up a fight before he went out. Okay, get in the comments, subscribe, like them, subscribe to Boy Jackademics.